thanks for visiting me. Hi, if you don't know me, my name's Jana, and welcome to my little corner of the internet. And I mean that figuratively and literally because where the heck are we? <laughs> we are literally in my little corner of the house where I study, paint, edit, do stuff I love. And speaking of things that I love doing, I love nothing more than watching a Studio Ghibli movie. That's why today we're going to be doing another Studio Ghibli redraw. I already made two Studio Ghibli redraw videos in the past. Check them out. <laughs> so without further ado, I won't keep you guys for so long. Let's go on with the video. Haha. <laughs> Hello, voiceover John is back. Good news, y'all. I am so excited, so happy to announce that I am officially done with school. Yay! <laughs> and that means that I can actually do whatever I want now with my precious limited time and do things I actually feel excited about and care about doing. Finally! Okay, anyway, anyway, let's talk about my painting process, okay? <laughs> So the first thing I did was I sketched out the bathhouse and I used um, a yellow watercolor pencil. I use watercolor pencils because later when you paint on it, over it with different paint, it just disappears and blends in with the water in the paint, which is really nice because if you just use a normal pencil, sometimes it's still like visible under the paint and it can't, and it kind of looks dirty, you know? Then I did a light wash of yellow for the, the the bridge. Like right now, I'm not really saturating the paint too much, but then later on I'm gonna come back to that part and add more color, more vibrance and saturation to it. Then here I am just defining the bridge and the, the like ledge. I used yellow for the parts that are hit by the sun and I used this maroon color for the darker parts of the bridge. Then I started painting the roof, which is originally supposed to be this light green, but then the greens in my palette weren't really matching to the color that I wanted. So instead I used this really light sky blue, then I mixed it with yellow. It ended up looking great. I had the green that I wanted, so I used that for the roof for the windows and for the trees as well. Then for the shadows, I use this darker blue that is leaning more to the purple side and I'm using some purples also. Yeah, and some maroons too.
Then I took my red, then made the windows, then took some other darker blues, darker purples, then worked on the details and the shadowing, mostly on the windows again and the roof, especially the roof. Because again, shadow is important to make some sort of texture and the roof especially has a lot of texture. So I did that by making tiny lines and some tiny dots one after another in a row. And to be honest, it wasn't the neatest, but it did the job, I guess. And like, I don't know if you agree with me, but like, putting down the shadows is the most satisfying thing ever. <laughs> and recently, I've been experimenting more on my shadows and using different colors. Like, if you, I don't know, my mindset before was like, when you have a red base and you want to make shadows for the red, then you'd use some kind of like maroon or like darker red but now I've been experimenting more and instead I've been using colors like dark blue to make shadows and it just makes everything so much more uh, exciting I guess and more interesting to look at and of course I still have a lot of things to learn about shadowing it's not like I know everything I'm not that good <laughs> I'm kind of just like you know, learning along the way, experimenting, finding out what works for me. So then I used this dark blue that I used in the building, like for the shadows of the building, I used that as well for the tree. Hey, I liked working on this tree, it's a really cute tree. <laughs> okay, random. <laughs> And like, yeah, from here, I'm just working on the details. Cause that's really what this project, this painting is all about. It's all about the details. That's what makes this um, scene in the movie so iconic. It's what makes the bathhouse the bathhouse, you know? But I am really not sure if I did this right. I just tried my very best to get every detail down. Of course, it was a w I was really worrying a lot if I could get this right, if I can like pull it off. Cuz it's it's really a detailed scene. It's like it's really a work of art, you know. <laughs> like shame on me if I can't get this right. <laughs> But yeah, instead, I told myself that I wanted to make this, take this as a challenge, you know? Seeing how much I can pay attention to detail and really practicing that skill. Ah, details, details, details. And, whoa, don't even get me started on the windows. Ah, I hated the windows so much. I think it looks so messy. Really, really, really wasn't the best. At first, I thought that I could pull this off without having to do line art, but then soon I ended up just putting a pen over it because it just wasn't defined enough, you know? It was so messy! <laughs> then really just enjoy me painting the details, and after that, all that's left is to paint the sky blue, and then we're done! Wait, no, I still have to put line art over it, and then we're done. <laughs> Enjoy the process!
thank you guys so much for spending your time with me i hope you guys like the end result i hope you enjoyed the process i hope you learned something and yeah uh look forward to more videos and more artworks to come see you in the next one bye